Hello everybody, this is Dawn, just here with a brief video today. It is um, Tuesday the um, 16th, and this video is in reference to tomorrow night, which is Wednesday night. I'm on Eastern Standard Time in the U.S., um, so I'm not really sure if this means tomorrow night wherever you are or that time frame um, for, for me, but, um, okay, so two quick things. So the first thing is, um, okay, tomorrow night, um, what... <laughs> I think I've got this right. Um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure of the details because it was coming in super fast and then I felt like it was quiet. <laughs> I didn't hear the, uh, exactly what that what this meant, but um, something um, is occurring um, and, and I believe this applies to both feminine and masculine. The, uh, the important part that I was getting is that it's super important for um, us to do whatever clearing or shielding that we, we do, but to be very connected and to our still center, to that purest part of who we are. And particularly that time frame. So tomorrow evening, I'm assuming Eastern Standard Time, that's where I am um, in the U.S., um, but Wednesday evening into Thursday. So that would be the evening of the 17th into the 18th here in the U.S. So translate the times, I suppose. Um, but um, there, the, the, what I was shown was that there, it was super important for us to be um, in that connected to the still center, the purity of and the innocence of who we are um, as created in the image of God and connected to um, the light and the life and the love that we are. And uh, being present and aware wherever you are, whatever you are doing during that time frame to allow that um, tapping into that that kind of um, I like to think of it as a river at my core and that river of pure source energy and um, and the stillness seemed very important. I didn't really get any details about what's going down, what's unfolding, if it's primarily the masculine or um, both um, counterparts, but I just wanted to make that quick video to share that because it felt um, incredibly pertinent. Um, I suspect that this has to do with some of the um, dreams that I have had and other um, sorts of synchronistic um, series of, <laughs> it's so random if I start talking about it, it'd take me an hour, but essentially the idea is sort of a a uh, quick turn, a quick turn that we're making of some kind. And again, I'm not quite sure if it's like the masculine is making it and the feminine are continuing to hold the space um, or if we're all making some quick turn. So we shall see. Um, I just wanted to put that out there for what it's worth um, and um, hope you all are well. Lots of love to everyone. I also wanted to mention, I tried to make a video on, I think it was Sunday or around the time I posted the um video on Jesus and the Ascension, um, I kept getting um, very strongly information around the Fisher Kings. Um, and I just uh, watched a video yesterday that uh, Jen of Twin Simplicity posted. So I will link to that below just um, so you can see. And toward the end of the video, she mentions the Fisher Kings. Um, and I wasn't able to upload the file because once again, the video went cuckoo on, on me. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, um, hopefully this one works. Um, but um, the Fisher Kings. So maybe um, I just looked that up on Wikipedia because I was not that familiar with the legends um, of the Fisher Kings. But I just feel like that there's something there that um, is significant, particularly for um, what the masculine are experiencing. And so putting that out there for what it's worth, um, and I'll put links below in the description. Um, I hope you all have a great week. Um, much love. Stay in your strength and um, trust. Trust is a big, big word right now. <laughs> like, um, it's funny, I keep going. I don't know if, if everybody else is experiencing this or if this is just sort of where I am, but I keep going in from like this like deep Zen-like, you know, kind of trust and surrender and really, really deep connection. Um, very connected to, you know, kind of my soul self, my whole self. And then um, essentially flipping into, <laughs> into, the, <laughs> into the opposite for a few minutes and just like, you know, um, 
having difficulty um, processing and, and, you know, then having to kind of regroup. Uh, and then I'm back in the, the lovely energy Zen space. I've also had some really interesting synchronicities for me. Like the, I don't even think I'd call them synchronicities. They're just um, like odd experiences for me. Like I went out to get my haircut um, at the, for five dollars at the you know the local haircut place because I'm trying to save money. And um, I just met these random people, and I literally um, I don't think that I've been flirted with in 30 years really but um but I had like two guys ask me out on dates it was very bizarre for me in these random places like Kroger and then this guy that was doing some work on the side of the road so it was quite interesting and made my head spin a bit um and um I think uh, one of the things that was really, really coming to me around that is to celebrate the small moments, all of us, um, regardless of, you know, the circumstances um, in this, this little journey that we are on together. Um, lots of love.